E3 2017 has just flown by, and while the reception of the overall expo might be different per person, there is no denying that some games look leaps and bounds above others. Whether you are an Xbox owner with games like Crackdown and Sea of Thieves, or a PlayStation owner with games like God of War and Spider-Man, there are so many games on the horizon to look forward to. Throw in the third parties, and the list just grows from there. This list, though, contains the five games that went beyond and impressed me the most this year, so please keep in mind that these are all my personal picks, so if your list looks different, make sure to leave it down in the comments down below and start a discussion from there. Without further ado, let's kick off with my fifth pick. There is no denying it's been an amazing year for Nintendo, whether that be the success of the newly released Nintendo Switch or Zelda Breath of the Wild. With Odyssey being revealed merely five months ago in January, many saw the potential of this game being another galaxy. This C3 proved just that, showing new abilities such as possession, and reminding us of the polish and charm only Nintendo provides, it's safe to say I want this game now. While Mario is an overused character, it's so awesome to see Nintendo shake things up as always. Whether that be platforming as 2D Mario in the walls, or finding every nook and cranny, it's no secret that I'll be all over this game when it releases this October. Man, I just need this game now. Anthem was the clear highlight of Xbox conference for me. After the release of Mass Effect Andromeda, it was really easy not to look forward to Bioware's next game, but after the recent news on how it was their B team working on the game, and the fact they were very understaffed, it's clear that the focus was mainly on the new IP. Anthem looks like a destiny S game that I can get into. While some studios get tied to certain series, it is nice to know that Bioware is allowed to stretch their legs and go for something different this time around, and with the success of games like The Last of Us and Horizon, that could pay off really greatly. Whether that would be flying around the planet, with friends, or discovering new species, I know this game will be a blast to play in 2018. Knowing it is Project Dylan for quite some time, Anthem is living up to the hopes I had for Dylan quite a bit. 2018 can't come soon enough. Marvel's Spider-Man at number 3. I know a lot of people are surprised being this was the closer for Sony's conference, but I gotta say, while the game looks phenomenal so far, there are still some issues I have with the combat and acrobatics. Other than that, the game looks great and it's clear the game was made with the labor of love. As they have stated many times, this game is being made by fans for fans, so I'm sure they will do Spidey justice. Seriously, that E3 demo looked way more epic than anything I've seen from a Spider-Man movie, so that shows how far this industry has gone. I can't wait for 2018 to finally deliver a Spider-Man game with the quality of a first-party exclusive, and that being Insomniac. If there was one game that needed to prove itself this E3, it was definitely Days Gone. After the rough demo of last E3 and the fact it looked like another zombie game, Days Gone really needed to prove why it was different from the rest and show why you needed to buy this game rather than the other ones. After this year's demo, I am way more confident and optimistic that this can be another Horizon where I spend numerous amount of hours in its open world and doing quests. The one thing that makes this stand out from the rest is the fact that the open world seems way more dense than usual bland open world games and has you not knowing what can be around every corner of the woods. Days Gone is an open world that I can get into and I really hope that this game is not too far off. With a lot of my doubts for the game already gone, I can only hope that this game continues to surprise me. Sony Bend, you have got this. You must be a warrior. But not everyone is bad. Mother always said to be open to those who can help. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. God of War. God damn am I looking forward to this game. I just recently beat God of War 3 for the first time, and now I know what I've been missing. I never really was hyped for God of War in the first place until I got to play 3, and now, since I played it myself, I couldn't be more excited. This game honestly looks like it could be better than The Last of Us, focusing on a more personal story with Kratos and his son, while still having satisfying gameplay from the previous games. Focusing on Norse mythology instead of Greek this time around leads to a whole new world with new gods and creatures that Kratos and his son Atreus will have to encounter. Coming out in early 2018, this game is already looking great and I'm sure it will go down with games like Bloodborne and Horizon as stellar exclusives that you need to own for the system. This game is my most anticipated game for the PlayStation 4 at the moment. Thanks for watching my top 5 games that impressed me this E3, so feel free to leave your list down below and start a discussion from there. With E3 2017 almost over, did you find this year's showings to be disappointing, or were you actually impressed with some of the games that were actually shown? Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you are new. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.